Friends, you all remember when I built this giant dual system? Not this guy, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't supposed to be that funny. <laughs> Anyways, what we have in here is the best AMD gaming system and the best Intel and NVIDIA gaming system. 2700X with the Radeon 7 and a 9900K with the 2080 Ti. But what good is that if you're not gonna play video games on them? And I mentioned in the last video that I would be playing video games on it and I never got to it. I also mentioned that I'd put a link for the wallpapers and I never did that either. <laughs> I'm gonna do it this time, okay? If I can figure out a way to actually upload it, because apparently it was just locally saved, I have to figure out a way to get it on uh, Wallpaper Engine. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. What is here is today, we're gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of FreeSync versus G-Sync and whether or not anybody can tell the difference. We're gonna be going over that after I tell you about today's video sponsor. Hey friends, Future Brett here. We all have data that we're trying to protect, even though we might just be playing some video games here. There's some precious little information on these two terabyte NVMe drives. And that's where today's video sponsor comes in. Backblaze, in case you haven't heard of them, is the gimmick-free unlimited cloud backup for Macs and PCs for just $6 per month per computer. They can back up your documents, your music, your photos, your videos, your drawings, your premiere projects, whatever you need to put on the cloud to make sure that you're not gonna lose it in the event of a rogue unicorn coming in and smashing your computer or Reese accidentally uninstalling a drive while the computer is on, Whoops. then you can use Backblaze. The backups occur automatically and stay out of your way and you can access all your data anywhere in the world on the go and you bet we can use it when we're going to Taiwan for Computex next week, my friends. Let's say you have a complete system failure because Reese pulls your drive out while you're using the computer. Well, you can order a hard drive or a flash drive and they will overnight FedEx you back all your data so that you can get it back in a jiffy and get back up and running and you can even return the drive and get a full refund on it, which is a freaking win-win. And let's talk about the best part. The best part is that they have over 750 petabytes of storage for all your documents, and they have over 40 billion documents backed up. That's a lot of return memories and documents, my friends. So my friends, go to backblaze.com forward slash UFD to get a full featured 15 day free trial of their service. Check it out, backblaze.com forward slash UFD. See what it's like to make sure you have the peace of mind that you need for your brain to make sure you know that your documents are safe. Okay, we're back. That's a good ad right there. Great job, future Brett. I'm so glad that you spoke so eloquently about that. Anyways, so what we have here are two 27 inch 1440p 144 hertz panels, one with G-Sync and one with FreeSync. This one is the Dell S271DG. This one is the Macer M2A1R, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so they're both set up pretty decently. Now, I say this a lot in other videos and I mean it, I'm usually saying it tongue in cheek, but G-Sync is by far just better than FreeSync. That's because in G-Sync monitors, they include a dedicated module that allows you when you dip below a certain refresh rate to still have the ability to not screen tear. And that's the whole point behind adaptive sync technology is that your refresh rate on your monitor is lining up with the refresh rate or the frame output of your graphics card. And there's no screen tearing. There's no messed up uh, pixels going on. There's no lines or horizontal brokenness. And G-Sync, because of the dedicated module, does this throughout the entire range of the monitor's refresh rate. However, with FreeSync, depending on the quality of the FreeSync monitor, it depends what kind of quality of FreeSync you're gonna get. Thankfully, this one is actually pretty good because it starts at 50 hertz and goes all the way up to 144 hertz. So we have a large 94 hertz range where we can have FreeSync active and make sure that there's no screen tearing. Obviously, dropping below 50 would then implement screen tearing. However, considering we have a Radeon 7, that's not likely to happen. And therefore, in this instance, they're basically equal in the type of technology. The whole point of today's video is we got my man Rickus here and we're gonna bring Reese in as well to test and see, can we see a visual difference in the type of quality that G-Sync brings and FreeSync brings? So with that being said, let's go ahead and pop on up to Apex Legends. And we have them both going simultaneously so that we can swap, interchange, and make sure that uh, we don't screw it up like we did our 240 hertz test where we, we changed everything. <laughs> Anyways. So it's, it's capped at 142 FPS so that it doesn't go over because yeah. as soon as the frame rate goes over the refresh rate of the monitor, you're gonna get screen tearing no matter what. G-Sync and FreeSync can't help you there. So we've capped it two FPS below the max refresh rate of the monitor so that it's active at all times. All right, and ready. I really hate the banners because it looks like the monitor's flickering. 
It does. That sucks. Okay, my, my, my graphics card's slightly faster than yours, but it'll be mostly all right. All right, 107, 108 FPS. Uh, I'm at 135. Dang. But it shouldn't matter. There should be no tearing no matter what. They're both TN panels. I forgot to mention that. And they've both been color calibrated. You're following him. You don't have to do anything. I know. Have you played this game? Yes, I have. Okay. But I'm one of those super intense people that press stuff before I have to. This actually looks really good at 144 hertz. Yeah. No tearing. I'm not noticing any issues whatsoever. Can you click any louder? No. Okay. All right, after we feel like we've looted enough, we'll switch. Uh... Switch PCs? Yeah. Did you activate your ult? No. You are literally leaving me with nothing, my friend. <laughs> that's not my ult, calm down. Okay. All right, well, I think that's been enough. Let's switch. And switch. Ah. Now I'm on the bad chair. No! As long as you sit in it appropriately, it's fine. I'm not gonna lie, this looks worse. I'm not gonna lie, this looks better. <laughs> 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 and I don't know why. I think like, it's it might, not the frame rate. This I, is, it's, it's, it's more brightness, I think? No, no, no. I'm, I'm noticing that the, like, it... The textures look different slightly. I, I don't know, man. Because it's, it's not screen tearing. I don't... This just looks worse when I move. Is motion blur on? Maybe. Hold on. Motion blur. Is there motion blur? No, dude. I'm, I'm telling you, this motion just looks worse. Especially, like... It look, does, but it's not tearing, though. I don't, I don't Maybe know. it's like, like ghosting? Maybe. Yeah, it's probably ghosting for sure. Oh yeah, you're right. That's definitely ghosting. You can totally see it like with the, the rock formations. Yeah. They're, they're staying where they're not supposed to be. So come over to me and then we'll take a look at that. Oh wow, that's rough. Look at that. Once I, you can see the after image of everything. An after image. That's a pretty good little trick for a private. You have some ghosting too. It's some very light ghosting though. All right. It's not nearly as bad. Hold on, let's make sure we're looking at the same thing here. Yeah, the ghosting yeah, here the is Yeah, the ghosting where... is much better, much worse than that one. Okay. But it's definitely not tearing, it's just ghosting. Yeah, it's just ghosting, it's not tearing at all. Switch. Maybe we don't need you, Reese. I think we can come to a pretty definitive conclusion just by ourselves. Switch! Go, go, go! I'm dead already. Oh dang it! <laughs> Help me! I don't want to die! Gosh dang it, Brett. Yay! So that was enough for us to, to figure out the conclusion. I didn't notice any tearing on either of the panels. No. Neither did you. No. Nothing tore whatsoever. It actually looks, when it comes to adaptive sync technology, FreeSync can be just as good as G-Sync. But this is also where NVIDIA came in at CES and said that we're gonna start certifying G-Sync compatible FreeSync monitors because we wanna make sure that it's available everywhere. However, while FreeSync monitors can be G-Sync compatible, they're not all certified and that's because of some of the issues that we were noticing in our gaming process, which is one, there's ghosting. Yeah. Two, there was like, the image quality is just not as good. And NVIDIA, when they're G-Sync certifying their displays, are looking at more than just the terrability of FreeSync, because yeah. FreeSync is a standard. The tearing is what it is, but the panel itself isn't as good as the one that's on this Dell S27176DG. Even though like the price difference between these two, at least in South Africa is about like 65, $80. Wait, no, no. I would say more like a hundred dollars. Yeah, it's about Okay, so there's about a hundred dollar price difference between the two, but given just sheer quality of panel, this one is the winner. And honestly, I'd be okay paying a hundred dollars to get rid of the ghosting that's on this. Personally, I don't mind it that much. I mean, obviously I've been gaming on a one, on a 60 hertz panel for a while. So just the one step up to 144 is a lot better, but yeah. yeah. But in quality difference, yeah, definitely G-Sync. Yeah, so to answer the question for anybody who's asking, is there a difference between G-Sync versus FreeSync and should I consider a G-Sync display? The answer is, it actually kind of depends. A yeah. FreeSync display can be as good as a G-Sync display. However, 
even though the tearing, if that's all you're going for, if you're just going for adaptive sync, then it doesn't matter whatsoever. If you're going for quality of panel, well then you can still get free sync monitors that do really well, but those are gonna probably be in the higher price bracket. And again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's still issues with the resolute or the refresh rate range with which FreeSync can operate in. Thankfully on this panel, it's 50 to 144 Hertz. So even if we saw some frame dips on here, we'd be okay. But with other ones, the, that range is much more limited. So you need to check that out on research websites to make sure that if you're buying a FreeSync panel, you're actually buying one that's compatible with the graphics card that you have, because if it's not in your range to make it work then it's not worth getting whatsoever because like yeah. uh bitwit just did a video on his portable monitor that was yeah. in FreeSync, and it's just like it was freezing up to like 45 fps or something like that yeah it, was, yeah, like it was it was super low so unless you're playing in that range which it would be difficult to actually want yeah. to play in that range it's not going to work out for you like a 15 F or hertz window for FreeSync is not so bueno. I will say, however, there are like a couple of monitors where you can get the FreeSync and the G-Sync model of the exact same panel. That's true. In that case, I would actually probably opt for the FreeSync right. version. Right, so like the Alienware 25-inch uh, 1080p, yeah. 240 hertz. Yeah, in that case, in I would totally go for the FreeSync panel because it, it'll, it's normally cheaper as well. And it should likely be the same because yeah. Alienware would be putting, yeah. Which I wanted to do the video that way. We just don't have, have that monitor. a thousand dollars to spend on those two monitors because that's how much the price would be for us to get them here. I know it's not that expensive in the States. That's not a different the, story. Different story. They're more expensive here. So that's going to wrap up this video. Functionally, no difference. So in case that was a question on your mind, we answered it with the ultimate two in one system and the ultimate dual monitor setup. It's not that Man. ultimate. Yeah, it's, it's, it's close, all right? We, we enjoyed what we did, okay, friends? And my friends, don't forget that today's video is brought to you by Backblaze. Go to backblaze.com forward slash UFD to get a 15-day full-featured trial to make sure you know what it's like to protect all your data and not have to worry, okay? Get your documents protected, okay? Store them on the cloud for $6 a month per computer. Easy peasy, check it out. Good job, AdSpot Brett. Anyways, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Get subscribed if you want to stay up to date on all of our tech-related content. You got the best two-in-one combo right here. What? <laughs> I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Rickers. Hey. hey. Love you too. Bye. Bye.